Artificial intelligence has easily been the most talked about topic within tech here in 2024. And today we're going to have a discussion about it in context of cybersecurity. Will artificial intelligence replace you and me as cybersecurity practitioners? Come on, let's talk about it. Let's have the discussion. Welcome back to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And we're going to be talking about one of the hottest topics today, and that is artificial intelligence. Here in 2024, it's rapidly been evolving within the tech field. We've seen it transforming industries, optimizing and automating repetitive tasks. We've even seen some university students using it to write their papers. We've also seen it even generate art. You know, these are some really interesting use cases. And I know that I'm not alone when I say that I have a tab of chat GPT always open and ready for some tasks that I have to accomplish for the day. But artificial intelligence impact on the job market is something that we want to talk about, specifically in the context of cybersecurity. Artificial intelligence isn't just a tool, but I've seen it as a collaborator, a creator, and sometimes, you know, with you and me as a competitor. As you're jumping into your cybersecurity career, you want to understand some of these tech trends and hear artificial intelligence is something that you really should keep your mind keen to um, in looking at its evolutions within the field. So let's start with our first question. What is AI's role in cybersecurity? And I want to present to you after doing some research is that artificial intelligence is being used by the attackers and the defenders. Attackers are using artificial intelligence to create convincing phishing emails. A lot of times non um, English speakers or non you know, Russian speakers, they will use artificial intelligence in order to get a convincing phishing email to go out to an organization so they can accomplish their malicious goals. They're also using it to quickly set up malicious C2 or command and control infrastructure. The bad guys are also utilizing artificial intelligence to create deep fakes to trick their targets into doing something against their own cyber interests. Here's an example of an attacker using a deep fake to trick their targets to pay a ransom. It's a pretty insidious story, so let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. An Arizona mother who was recently the victim of a deep fake kidnapping extortion plot uh, is joining us to talk about that scam. It used her daughter's voice and demanded money, a million dollars in ransom money at one point. Jennifer DeStefano testified before Congress this week to sound the alarm on the danger of artificial intelligence, urging lawmakers to regulate this uncharted territory before something like this happens to another family. It was my daughter's voice. It was her cries. It was her sobs. It was the way she spoke. I will never be able to shake that voice and the desperate cries for help out of my mind. It's every parent's worst nightmare to hear your child pleading with fear and pain, knowing that they are being harmed and that you're helpless. The longer this form of terror remains unpunishable, the farther and more egregious it will become. There is no limit to the depth of evil AI can enable. We've seen how the attackers are using artificial intelligence. Let's look and see how the defenders are using it as well. A lot of times artificial intelligence is being used to enrich the effectiveness of cybersecurity tool sets. Vendors are, are leveraging AI and integrating it to their tools like their EDR solutions or their SIM solutions, most notably Microsoft's Copilot, to quickly identify security weaknesses within organizations and their digital infrastructure. And also, many of us defenders are using artificial intelligence to create quick queries for tools that we don't use on a regular basis. I know a lot of times I'm doing different tasks like network security packet analysis, and I'm utilizing multiple tools, things like Wireshark, things like Brim, things like Zooey, things like Zeek. And I don't remember all these queries right up here in my head in order to get the cybersecurity related information from those network packet captures. So a lot of times I'm utilizing artificial intelligence um, in order to be able to quickly get the information that I need from the tools, right? Rather than learning and memorizing a lot of the tool queries and the things that give me the cybersecurity information I need, I'll use ChatGPT or Bard or Claude 2 in order to quickly identify what I need to plug into that tool to get what I need from a cybersecurity perspective. So now let's see what some of the leaders are saying about if we are winning the cybersecurity battle or the cybersecurity war today in the context of artificial intelligence. To these new attacks, um, yeah. who's winning? Is the industry up to speed on what's going on in businesses? Are they protected against you know, some of these new techniques that these threat actors are using? No, I think that the defenders are, are moving at a good speed. And if you look across the security industry today, um, machine learning has been widely adopted across security vendors. That's not an uncommon thing. And I think, I think the 
defenses and the mechanisms that we as defenders have continue to get better. So I'm not a doom and gloom person. I just think we need to be ready for what's next. Yeah. And it puts pressure on vendors such as ourselves to continue to up our game, to drive a pace of innovation that's going to be important to our customers. But it's also incumbent upon everyone to be more vigilant. We're, we're going to have to be that much more focused on ensuring that the the threat actors don't win. And and is the industry using some of these AI tools sure. themselves? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. to, sure. Oh, yeah. I think we all are. Can you give me some are. examples? Uh, yeah. I, mean, I mean, just in productivity alone. So we talked about threat actors now but having a productivity leap. We have the same. So we at DXC have implemented uh, you know, AI tooling in our security space that gives us enormous gains in productivity. Mm -hmm. Something that might have taken you know hours even to do now, we can quickly get to with natural language that's baked in as well very quickly. Things that would have taken, you'd have to write complicated use cases and mm -hmm. string code strings to be able to get to you can do now in a matter of minutes and that really gives us an, uh, you know gives us a jump mm -hmm. artificial intelligence can analyze vast data sets and identify threats and vulnerabilities quicker than any human can but the thing about it is that it is required that a human is in the loop it needs our cybersecurity insights our cybersecurity experience our human to human battle within the cyber warfare in order to understand how to really be effective in utilizing AI. So you don't see artificial intelligence just going out there and fighting against the bad guys one on one. It's always a human in the loop in this current manifestation. And I think that this experience and the knowledge of cybersecurity fundamentals is extremely important. And if you combine that with artificial intelligence, that will make you a formidable defender in today's cybersecurity world. And I think that there's a need right now for more cybersecurity professionals to learn artificial intelligence. So I think the call to action today and the biggest takeaway that I want you all to have is that it is clear that it is important for us as cybersecurity professionals to embrace artificial intelligence. By understanding and utilizing AI, you can enhance your skills and become a more valuable resource within today's cybersecurity market. And I think that this is a good time to mention our sponsors, which is Springboard. Springboard has a cybersecurity bootcamp who actually has an inserts and modules within their bootcamp program that talk about AI in the context of cybersecurity. Let's hear more about the cybersecurity bootcamp program from Springboard right now. In a world where digital cybersecurity is paramount, your skills can make a difference. Springboard's cybersecurity career track offers you the gateway to becoming a hero in this digital realm. With Springboard, you're not just learning, you're preparing to lead. Their comprehensive online courses are crafted by industry leaders, ensuring you're job ready from day one. No experience, no barriers, no problem. The personalized mentorship program and real world projects simulate the challenges you'll face in cybersecurity and equipping you with the expertise to jump head first into the field. Join the ranks of Springboard alum who've catapulted into their careers with top tech companies. Springboard's support doesn't end with education. They guide you until you land that dream job with their job guarantee clause if you meet certain career or certain criteria. Take the leap with Springboard and transfer your passion into a profession. For a limited time, dive into cybersecurity with $1,000 off of your cybersecurity Springboard Bootcamp course. Just use the code in the description section and the first comment in the comment section. Your future in cybersecurity is awaiting. Are you ready to unlock it? Enroll now and secure your place in the digital safeguarding elite. So throughout the video, we've seen several things. We've seen that bad guys and the good guys are using artificial intelligence in order to accomplish their goals. We've also seen what leaders have to say about what is happening within a cybersecurity warfare. We've also seen bad guys utilizing deep fakes to accomplish malicious goals with people who are clearly innocent. Right now, I want to read to you an excerpt from a publication that I think really riles out the discussion here. And it says, AI is still very much in active development. It has not reached a point where it can fully mimic the intelligence of a human being, nor our creativity. And we still require some level of human expertise and interaction for the foreseeable future. This means cybersecurity professionals like you and me will need to learn new skills in areas such as machine learning, data analysis, and AI-driven security solutions to stay ahead as the demand for AI increases. So to wrap up here, AI is not going to replace you and me in any near future as cybersecurity professionals. I think it's very important that we embrace 
artificial intelligence in our cybersecurity journey, whether we're using it to learn tools, whether we're using it to learn concepts, or whether we're using it to bolster our cybersecurity tools in today's field. And again, like I mentioned, if you are looking for more information about AI and cybersecurity, and you're looking for a bootcamp program, Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp program is right there and you can check in the description section. So hopefully this has kind of taken away some of your worries, taken away some of your struggles and really trying to understand what AI is gonna do in cybersecurity. So really overall, I don't believe AI will replace you and me anytime soon. Thank you for having the discussion with me and come back to my channel for more and more of this type of content. Thanks.